Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. After that big snowstorm, I had a lot of uh, three oxygen tellus branches falling, so what I'm going to try to do is clip them and see if we can make uh, cuttings from them to root, and from there we can always use them for mini bonsai. So what I'm going to use is uh, for Mickey Light, and then I'm going to rip, snip, dip, and stick. I soaked the cuttings for uh, off the tree for two days because they've been just lying on the ground so I didn't want them to dry out. So if I get the container open you're going to see how they look. They're in water so I'm going to dump the water out. And there you have them all rehydrated. So the next thing I'm going to do is open up my rooting hormone, put some into the cap. Before I do anything with my cuttings, I'm going to dip my shears into some hydrogen peroxide to make them sterile. And then as you can see, here's how they look. So all I'm going to do is find a stem. All you can do is rip it. And you'll get a little tail on there. And that's what you're looking for. This one's got a little bit of a tail. That's still good. So that's all we're going to do is rip them. To see how many cuttings we can get. You see the nice little tail on there from ripping it. Get another one, we'll get some here. Just rip it off. Place it there, we'll get some other ones here. What I can find some good ones. Now this one might not be too good because it's all getting yellow and old so I'll throw it in there it's just a hit or miss with this we're gonna try it out this one's no good that one's no good rip with a tail rip with another tail rip with another tail and here we go again take this one off. This cutting has a big tail but it's kind of big so it's not going to fit in my little container that I'm going to use. So all we're going to do is rip them. And what a good way to make a free bonsai tree. It's going to take a while for them to root but hey from cuttings that were on the ground, broken branches, we try it out. Okay, we got some, most of them ripped off. Put these on the side here. Now what I'm going to do is take my container here. What I'm going to do is, it's just an old food container that I washed. And it's got a nice little cover to help uh, keep the leaves from drying out. Almost like a little mini greenhouse. Poked holes in the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my hands. I'll take our vermiculite. Pour it into the tray. Smooth it out real good. Lock up our bag. What I'm going to do right now is just wet it and take my bigger sprayer, pump it up. In 
really get it good and soaking wet. We want this vermiculite nice and solid. And it's not hard. Vermiculite soaks up water fast. Let's push it down. It's still loose so it doesn't have enough water in it yet. Really give it a good soaking. Now you don't have to use uh, vermiculite, you can use any type of sterile soil. You can use sand, even. Sand is a good medium for rooting. But since I got a lot of vermiculite, we're going to use that. I'm going to soak this real good until all the water runs out. I need this good and wet. Okay. Add a little more in. Smooth it out. my spoon here to level it out. Really soak it. Nothing's coming out so you can see how much vermiculite absorbs. Put it on a bigger stream. Because I want this vermiculite good and soaked. Because we want to make good contact with it, with the stem and the vermiculite. And it's getting soaked. You can see how long it takes. You could probably, if I had a big enough uh, container, I would have soaked it. I'll let it soak it up from the bottom. But let's see how we're doing here. Oh yeah, nice and solid. Packing it down real good. Okay. So, we ripped it, now we snip. Well, now, what do I mean by snip? Well, first we're going to make the tail a little bit short. Right now it's a little bit too long, if I can get a better view of it, see? And then we'll just take a little bit of that off. And then we'll rip, up, rip off some of the foliage. Now what we're going to do is rip, dip it in our rooting hormone. And what I'm going to do is make a little line so we can stick it in. Push it in good. Take a little bit of the tail off. Dip it. Stick it. We really got to get it into the vermiculite real good. Take another cutting. Cut some of this off because it's too much. Clip off some of that large tail. Dip it into our rooting hormone real good. I'm just going to use my fingers instead of the stick because that will get it in real good. You want this pushed in tight. And we'll do that to all of them. Cutting the tails.
sticking it in. Ah, that's a hit or miss with this, but you ain't got no uh, no reason not to try. If the tail's not long enough, just dip it and stick it in real good. Let's get another one. Just use your fingers. This one has a pretty long tail as you can see, so we're going to take about that much off. We're going to take some of our taps off, dip it, and we're going to stick it in. And it's not a hard thing to do. You just got to be a little patient. We don't need this branch on. We don't need this branch on. We don't need this. Just going to cut this. Going to dip it. Push it in real good. I'm going to get some more because it's drying out a little bit. Let's water it in real good. Our little cutting here doesn't want to stay in. Well, that's because I didn't get it in deep enough. Now this may be the wrong time of the year, but we're going to stick it outside. I got a small one of them cheap little greenhouses, but it'll work. I'm going to do that that way because I know the squirrels will start digging in this. Pushing that in there, keep it in. A little top heavy, so I'm going to cut some of that off. Cut a lot off of that one. This one has a long tail also. So we're going to take about a little more than half off. Cut off the stem so we get it deeper into the medium. You got nothing to lose to try it. Just different. Got a long tail here because this is where our roots are going to start off. So we're going to cut a little bit of that tail off. I'm going to dip it, stick it in deep, and we got a couple more cuttings I think we can manage to slip in. I'm going to cut off some of the branches, cut off some of the half of the tail, Cut off some of the tops so they're not top heavy like this one I should have cut off more. A little bit more here. I'm going to dip it into the hormone. Stick it in. I got another real small one here. And we'll just take it and we'll snip it there. The tail's still good. I'm going to take a little bit off the top. Dip it in. And we did pretty good. We got some about, we got about one, two, three. Let's see. We got another. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about eleven cuttings. I can still fit another one in. Here's one that I ripped. 
when it rips, you got that node there, and it takes some of the. So I got a nice little cutting right here with a little bit of tail clipped off into the hormone it goes into the corner here where I got some extra room now once we got all that in there let me clean my hands we're going to take our cup and get some sand because vermiculite is very very light and we're going to put it over the top for more stability There we go. And we've got our cuttings in there nice and easy. I'll wet it so you can see how it looks. Get it all rinsed off. Now this ain't hard to do. Anybody can do it. It ain't going to cost you nothing. Except just your uh, little tub of rooting hormone. And we got all summer to see if they grow and root. So this is our final how it looks all dug in what I can do is I close this the top and if you can see it's got air vents in it there's four of them to keep the food from to keep the vent the steam out but these little food trays come out nice nice and neat so we got everything in there good make sure everything is packed in tight with the lid on, it makes a perfect little greenhouse to humidify your cuttings. So don't be afraid to try it. It's easy, not hard to do. So today's Thursday. Grab a cup of tea, and there's a lot of catalogs that they're mailing, putting in the mail, so you can check out all the trees and plants and whatever you want to do to help you with your bonsai trees. So I thank you very much for coming to my video today. It's not a bad day, it's 33 degrees with a 24 degree wind chill or once centigrade with a minus 4, or not centigrade but Celsius wind chill for those of you who use Celsius. So take care everyone. Try a cutting. You see some dead branches laying around, pick them up, rip them, rip, snip, dip and stick and you're done and we'll know by the end of summer if these cuttings took or not. They might not. And they might. So you take care. I'll let you know what happens. My name's Tom Novak for Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Thank you for coming.